how is everybody doing and facebook and linkedin and all of our streaming platforms happy wonderful wednesday happy wellness wednesday i'm super excited to be here with my friend elsie jenkins <laughs> from green sprouts market right here in bloomfield new jersey gosh we gotta see if you can do some online orders for those who yes. those who are on and they're watching and you might want to get something from our store there's some wonderful wonderful product here and it's just such a great store so we are actually doing this live and in person right in our store we don't always do this but green sprouts is special to me and so is elsie so we want to do something live today do something different plus we have this wonderful partnership now with green Sprout green sprouts market where gold wellness circle um shop is here so our product is here in this store where someone can come and you can get your produce you could shop for food and you could get some bling and some purses and some bags so it's, it's a wonderful partnership and so what we're going to talk about today um will include some um healthy food alternatives we're going to see if we can we have uh, Serena from our team here with us helping us record. We're going to see if we can walk around a little bit so you can see some of what um, Elsie has here in her store. I don't know. We're going to see how we can balance that. Um, but I also want to remind everybody that our upcoming Gold Wellness Alzheimer's Fundraiser Fair is coming up on Thursday, June 24th. We are already getting our vendors in place and everybody in place is going to be participating. It's going to be a fun event on Saturday, June 24th, and it's going to be from 12.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. So if you haven't got your tickets yet, if you're still interested in being a vendor, please go ahead and go to our goldwellnesscircle.com website. Click on events. There's also a link for vendors and sponsors. Go there if you're interested. If you're physically here, you can join us fine. If you can't, and you still want to support Alzheimer's research, you could also select a donation package right off the website. And that's the other great thing. This partnership with uh, Elsie and I um, from our Gold Wellness Circle shop, we are donating 10% back over to the Alzheimer's Association. So um, we're also doing that. So it's a real wonderful way to give back. It's a labor of love you know, for us to help anybody going through Alzheimer's. Um, so want to want to give Elsie a chance to introduce herself and tell us a little bit about herself and Green Sprouts and kind of, you know, what made you start this venture? Thank yeah. you. Um, okay, well, Elsie Jenkins, um, mother of two. Uh, reason for starting this venture, independence, basically. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to say, hey, I wanted to save the world. I basically wanted to be my own boss, um, have a bucket list like possibly a lot of people do. And on that bucket list was a brick and mortar business. Uh, and why brick and mortar where everything is online? Because people need a place to go to. Everyone does not want to hide behind the screen. Absolutely. That's what everyone wants you to believe. But you know, nowadays we talk about mental health issues and isolation is a big reason why there's a lot of issues so i wanted a space where people could come and have fun and eat well yes. and just get together and that's happened a number of times which has been really really fun and in the process people are putting good things into their body so it's a win-win yeah absolutely i love that i love even um just the different alternatives that you have in the store because you know if you look at the statistics a lot of us include have too much sugar too much salt all of that can lead to chronic illnesses mm -hmm. i'm a breast cancer survivor myself so i'm always a little nervous about too much sugar as much as i love it i have to kind of balance it and kind of de-sugar as much as possible it's not always an easy balance um, so we should talk a little bit about that, like the statistics and um, maybe even some of the changes that you've made as well and how some of the product in the store, sometimes we could choose something different that's also tastes good, but it has less sugar, less salt, it's just a healthier alternative. So, yeah, so, yeah uh, I've had a laundry list of health issues and 
everything goes back to what I've eaten. Yeah. Yes, there's medication out there for everything. Yes. I'm not going to put down medication. But what I learned long term was my diet kept affecting sinuses, blood pressure, diabetes. I have a thyroid issue. I don't have a thyroid, so it is an issue. Yeah. Um, so I have to regulate my metabolism. So one of the things to regulate the metabolism is to cut down on the amount of sugar that I consume daily. And that is easier said than done yeah. because I am addicted to sugar. Yeah. So once you know that, then you can move forward with it. So yes. I have a few varieties of snacks in the store where they're three grams of sugar or less. And, you know, you might think, yuck. But once you try them, it's, wow, yeah. there's only three grams of sugar in this. The other thing we do carry are fresh uh, fruits. Yeah, they are higher in sugar, but it's a more natural sugar. Mm -hmm. um, and last but not least, we do carry agave, which is a plant um, sweetener. So agave will help sweeten things at a smaller amount. So you don't need as much. Yeah, that's great. That's really great. I do like to try integrate agave for certain things. Um, and I try not to use as much white sugar. And sometimes that same thing is easier said than done. Yeah. So if you can make small changes, sometimes, you know, small changes are better than no changes. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I think that's what so many of us struggle with. And again, so many illnesses, long term illnesses, um, it could be arthritis, it could be um, cancer. It's so many different things that are connected to how much sugar we put into our body. So finding healthier alternatives for that is really, really critical. I also have a thyroid issue as well. So I'm always having to, to kind of balance that. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's definitely, so I see you have like are those chips back there? Popcorn, all I that have, kind of yes, stuff. Yes, I have. Yeah. Uh, popcorn, so we're gonna have to walk around chips. the store so you can see what's in here because I'm getting hungry. Um. <laughs> so I want to. I want to walk around a little bit, and I'm gonna take the laptop. Uh, Serena, thank you for taking our Instagram crew um, that's online, and we're just gonna look. So this is our whole wellness circle shop um, that we have here. So we're proud to uh, partner with Elsie on this. And then um, we have some other partnerships, which is cool over here too, with soaps and all that good shea stuff. Butter. Yeah, shea butter and all that good stuff. So maybe we, could, we should start over on this side. So what do we have here? Over so on I have here? on display a few of our mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, yeah. a lot of people are aware. These are lion's mane and lion's mane are, they're used in, um, in healing, there's a lot of uh, medicinal purposes to lion's mane. I can't go through the whole list now, mm -hmm. but lion's mane is something you would love to have in your diet. Mm -hmm. And um, if you cook it right with the right seasonings, you can make uh, crab cakes with oh, lion's yum. mane. That's, It'll taste delicious. like fish. Wow. Um, of course, apples. But here's one of my favorite too, oyster mushrooms. Oh, these are your seafood mushrooms. Basically, they already have like a fishy taste to them. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to substitute eating fish or anything seafood like mm -hmm. oyster mushrooms is your guy. Wow, nice. Um, and then this kale here is amazing. This is a Russian baby Russian red kale. Wow. And um, last week I made chickpea kale empanadas, and this was the kale that was in those empanadas, and it was amazing. Yes. <laughs> Elsie's empanadas are alive, y'all. Let me tell you, I come over here, I got like eight to 10 just on Saturday. Just, it was crazy. So, it's of delicious. course, everybody wants mangoes, so I have mangoes on hand all the time and all different kinds of fruit. By tomorrow, I'll have more fruits in here. Yes, yes. This also. is one of my favorite, and I guess a lot of people's favorite, uh, heirloom mushrooms. They're very meaty. So you can make, if you make like a grilled cheese and tomato or any type of sal uh, sandwich with tomatoes, these are the tomatoes for it. They, they stay oh, nice. together. They hold up well. 
Oh, very good. Everything okay. that we carry is from New Jersey, so we're not shipping shipping mm -hmm. anything. Or so they're locally having, sourced. Yeah, everything is locally mm -hmm. sourced. We're mm -hmm. not getting anything shipped in right. as far That's as the produce is concerned. That's great. So maybe behind you, Kelsey? So behind me, mm -hmm. we have different types of butters, almond butters. This one is my favorite because it's very low in sugar. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me find it here. So sugar is three grams of sugar. Oh, okay. And um, again, this is the one that I use mm -hmm. in order to um, keep my sugar levels down. Okay. Uh, but we got the sugary kind too. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> For fun, and a lot of people love this. This is a cinnamon uh, sugar cookie peanut butter. It sells out a lot. It's really right. good. But again, the life is about a balance. Right. Absolutely. Um, and then, of course, we have our pastas. These are fresh pastas that are made. Um, I have a, a gentleman that lives in town, and they provide us with the pastas. But we also have organic um, red lentil pasta. Nice. And um, chickpea pasta. And purple carrot pasta this weekend i'm going to be making a pasta salad with this pasta so people can taste it and mm -hmm. understand that although it looks weird and different doesn't mean that it tastes bad it really tastes right. really good mm -hmm. um and we got those bowls up there right? yeah the these bowls, the bowls are very popular a lot of people pick them up for lunch you just add water and mm -hmm. it's a plant-based micro meal in minutes. So right. again, we want things to be as natural as possible, but let's be real, everybody's busy and right. everybody's looking for a shortcut. Yeah. So we're just trying to get as close as possible to wholesome food. Yeah. And actually, I think Tony gets some of these bowls. Tony was one of our guests on, on uh, Wellness was, Wednesday, yeah. and I think he likes uh, one of these bowls or two of these bowls. Yeah, there's a lot something. of people that come in yeah, and pick up the in. bowls. Those yeah. are very popular. Cool. Um, and yeah, and then again, we have um, Lesser Evil, very popular um, popcorn. Um, this is the sweet and salty. The mm -hmm. sugar content is lower, but mm -hmm. it's still up there. It's above five. Mm -hmm. um, but okay. it's yummy snacks. Okay. But I want to point out Craze. Craze is a good um, replacement for chips if you're looking mm -hmm. to kind of lower the cholesterol and mm -hmm. sugar and these are baked Great. and you can put them on your salad you can use them for dips you can put them on top of anything i put them on my chili so yeah. whatever it is that you want to use them for and we have a variety of right. flavors nice nice and this is everything that you have that's frozen the, like, uh, the refrigerator's the full refrigerator. with everything right. um one of the Yelper. cool things salad mixes that we love is the um the yogurt split this is thyme honey mm -hmm. and um mm -hmm. greek yogurt very wow. very good of course honey is going to be you know up there in sugar mm -hmm. but if you're craving sweet natural. this honey is so good yeah, for you natural which is great yep <laughs> i have a jalapeno hum hummus we have other hummus but this is one of my favorites. That's a good one. <laughs> and I want to talk about another product here. Mm. This weekend, we're going to be doing a taste test on microgreens. Mm -hmm. and microgreens mm -hmm. are the beginning sprouts of the actual product. So this is a broccoli microgreen. Mm -hmm. And these are the little stems the little um i'm gonna open this because i'm gonna take it home so right. don't think that i'm opening <laughs> stuff and not selling it. um this is the wholesomeness that starts growing before your broccoli grows oh. so this gets cut and you can put it in your salad you can put it on dips you can mm -hmm. put it in your smoothie and whatever it is that you want nice um and it's packed with a lot oh. of nutrients they can go to yes. these are all all the drinks, protein drinks, coffee drinks. This mm -hmm. coffee drink is made with coconut water. Mm -hmm. And um, we have the probiotic oh, okay. drinks. <laughs> um, again, pro uh, probiotic anything is good for the gut. 98% mm -hmm. uh, of the illnesses begin in the gut. So you want to keep a healthy gut. Yeah, um, and a lot of our drinks here are 
zero or up to like two or three grams of sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then last but not least, we have the cold brew. I have cold brew teas, Ooh, that's and then regular good. brew teas. Um, I had a few people try these out, and they love them. Personally, I haven't, but mm -hmm. I will have them on display sooner or later. Every mm -hmm. Saturday, I'm featuring some sort of product here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we need to do the ice cream. Oh, God. The ice cream is something else entirely. <laughs> so like... Sip and Swirl Ooh, is sip and these swirl. provider. Sip and Swirl is in Little Falls. They make their ice cream at their location in Little Falls. Oh, no. So good. And um, so again, it's homemade. Um, I put in an order and they provide me with the product and everybody loves it. Yeah, it's so good. Look at Serena. <laughs> I like those. Oh, I know. Oh, my God. And so, yeah, so that's that's Elsie's store and a wonderful product I mean, we that she has stuff. here. We she have. has this more, but we just wanted to kind of give you a sampling that there is more. So I'm going to put this back down here and we're going to um, kind of continue our conversation. I know it makes it harder because we're looking at two different devices, but it's all good. We'll make it work. So that was good. Hopefully... Hopefully everybody got a little bit of a, a taste. Might might have to put it on maybe the other side, maybe, because now I'm out of the shot. There we go. Move over a little bit. Yeah, we're good. We'll make it work. Yeah, turn it just a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. There we go. All right. All right, everybody. So online family, hopefully you love that tour that we gave. Um into Elsie's beautiful green sprouts market. It's it's just really a place to come. And then can anybody like order anything online? Not yet. So, not yet, but it's coming. It's coming. What's been happening um, by the end of the month, the website should be up and running, thank mm -hmm. God. Yes. Um, and then we can do that. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people have, they call me or text me, especially on Empanada's Day. But I've yes. been getting um, texts and calls regarding like our greens. We have um, mm -hmm. salad bags mm -hmm. um, that come oh, in good. fresh. I get them. I get the greens from the market, and then we separate them into bags um, mm -hmm. or yeah. anything that they may need. Do you have eggs or honey? Whatever it is that they right. need, they'll call me or text me. Mm -hmm. um, microgreens is another one uh, that's requested a lot. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the microgreens. And you mentioned something about gut health and. The importance of that and it sounded like it, it does i've read this before that gut health is it's almost if you don't have it's kind of the basis of so many illnesses so why don't you expound on that a little bit for us so i just want to make sure i throw this out there i'm not a professional in that area right. so i'm speaking from personal uh, yeah, experience so personal experience so that's the disclaimer yes i don't want anybody saying <laughs> We get, we get, we try to get as many experts and people who, as guests on um, our lives that understand this from a personal level. So no, we're not nutritionists, you know, we're not doctors. So this is just all personal experience. So I've had allergies and sinus, really bad sinus problems since I was 14 years old. And now, you know, I'm a little up there, <laughs> but... <laughs> Throughout the years, I've done a lot of research and learned that, again, 98% of um, illnesses begin in the gut. And how has that um, worked for me? I consume probiotics every single day because that keeps down the amount of infection in my body. That's number one. So probiotics is almost like antibiotics, kind of, sort of. Um, but you're kind of keeping your your um gut condition because everything that's in your stomach kind of gets worked up and mm -hmm. processed let's say into the rest of your body yes. um so if you're putting allergens in your body they're gonna go into other parts of your body that your body might not be uh ready to receive yes. so that's during the research that i did for myself that's what i learned mm -hmm. uh, not having a thyroid now is less of a filtration for me so the more natural the item or the thing that I'm eating, the better off my body is. 
So yeah, I still have sinus issues and I have allergies issues, but I don't have sinus infections as reoccurring as I used to, like at least six to seven times a year, I had a sinus infection. Um, so probiotics have been doing the trick for me along with um, just cleaner eating. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, definitely. So I can definitely attest to the importance of gut health as well. I mean, you, you guys can also search online. You'll see that there are doctors who attest to the importance of gut health. I've seen it on enough programs. And I can give you two examples, my own personal examples. I remember I was working, I think it was at a Regis office week. There was a a, a bunch of us that all got the same stomach flu. It was really bad. We all got, we all got the same stomach flu. It was like a, 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 you know, what do you call it? A community stomach flu, basically, <laughs> that we got. And I will never forget, I tried everything. Um, oh, my God. I, it was just horrific. And, you know, you try all the old school things like Alka-Seltzer and all these other things that say that it's supposed to help you with this. Nothing really helped as much as probiotics. Now, my husband, Rick, swears by probiotics. He believes in it. He was taking the supplements. I was not. Um, I remember starting to get slowly get that into my system and it just helped to level out my stomach. And when I was going through chemo and was on a cocktail of drugs, I, the doctors recommended so many different things that were all medications. None of them worked. I was barely able to not to go too deeply into what I was going through, but I could barely leave the house without a bathroom, just, wow. just letting you know, um, after treatment. So I recommended a couple of people have mentioned to me, well, why don't, why aren't you on probiotics? And I said, well, you know what? I'm open to trying anything because I couldn't, I couldn't, it, I could barely function. So long story short, I started using the probiotics. I encouraged my um, oncologist that I needed to do something. You want me to keep coming here for treatment, but meanwhile, my stomach was being torn up and I could not, nothing work. When I got on the probiotics, that changed everything. I don't know about you, but that brat diet, which is bread, rice, applesauce, and toast, toast was yeah. not working, <laughs> but for so long. And I was on that. I did everything that was recommended to me, but nothing else worked like the probiotics being put to my system and then finally the, the oncologist my doctor said you know what i would never have recommended this but i'm glad that this is working for you this is something that we could keep in mind for other you know um cancer patients who are going through something similar so it's good to try these alternative you know types of things it's 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 always unfortunate to me that they're never considered as much as traditional medications. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they work, and I always feel like, why do we, why do we always have to choose? You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like doing a little bit of both sometimes can work, and then sometimes if the traditional doesn't work quite as well, sometimes the alternative works. You know, it's just like everybody's system is different, and that that is right. Um, you know, I hear everybody always saying. You know, eating healthy is expensive. Once upon a time, I said the same thing. So yeah, I'm not yeah, putting people too. down for that because I just didn't understand. That's right. what it was. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I look around and just went to a concert. Concert tickets are well over $200 oh, yeah, for that event. Yeah. So we're happy to shell out two to a thousand dollars to go see someone on stage right. for a few hours yeah but the investment in the only health. one body that you've been given it's, true. it's not that serious yeah and that's what i had to come Absolutely. to grips with it's yeah. like this is an investment in me it's yes. only one body i don't know how long i have it for so right. let me keep it as long as i can yeah. and mm -hmm. working as well as it could absolutely absolutely i fully agree with that i think we justify paying shelling out money in other areas and we don't look at what kinds of things we should be doing for our health so you know maybe incorporating being able to buy organic foods a little bit more often or other alternatives could be a really great thing for our health it's always something that's important to consider so thank you elsie this is so great you're welcome I feel, thank you i feel like we we you know i learned so much just by 
you know, being on this live. Hopefully everybody else has learned a lot too. So remember, um, you can find Elsie's on social media, Green Sprouts uh, Market, Bloomfield. Yeah. You can find on Instagram. Is there a Facebook yet? Yes, there's Facebook, a Facebook. Yep. Um, all those different areas, um, you can find um, Green Sprouts, uh, Bloomfield, Green Sprouts Market, Bloomfield, yes. New Jersey. Um, if you want to connect, if you want to stop by, you're local here come in New over. Jersey, come on <laughs> over. It's such a great, wonderful place to be right at 17 Mayolis Drive. Is that right? Drive 17 or street? May street. Street. I always have to remember That's which it. one it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, yes. oh, yeah. Let's, Let's look at the chat. The <laughs> yeah. Let's chat just to make sure. But come on over. Um, it's, it's a great place, um, very wholesome place to be friendly and everything, but great products and services here. Check out our Gold Wellness Circle shop here. Like I said, we're giving back to the Alzheimer's Association with any purchases from our Gold Wellness Circle store inside of um, Green Sprouts Market. And we hope to see you in another two weeks. Um, Elsie won't be with us. We'll have a different guest. If anybody wants to be a guest, go to our GoWellnessCircle.com website and go ahead and go to our Wellness Wednesday link. And there's a form to fill out. We'd love to have you come on and we could talk everything wellness. And we'll see you soon, everybody. Take Thank care. You. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Yep. And all right, bye. <laughs> there you go.